so much fun and a familiar face you may remember Clay because he used to come visit us from SeaWorld and he's now from, uh, at the Abilene Zoo. That's and correct. brought some friends to the San Antonio's Dog Show and Rodeo and we have one right here. I did. We drove the three hour drive down from the Abilene Zoo to the San Antonio Rodeo and this is a rescued screech owl, Jen. This animal is full grown. Her name is Sarah and by all of our veterinary records we can tell that she's about 95% blind. But she's so beautiful. She is, who? <laughs> you know, I hear tomorrow's a superb owl day. Anyway, this animal right here is completely full grown. It's a native species. And here at the Stock Show and Rodeo, we are in the wildlife section yes. here at the rodeo. So you can come see all the great Texas conservation, plus larger animals like this, Jen. Look at this giant animal. This is an Aldabras tortoise. This animal's from the island of Aldabra, which is off the coast of Madagascar. Believe that Madagascar? Do you know there's an island off the coast there? Oh my goodness. Now look, what I want you to do is get low here with <laughs> okay, me. Okay, okay. And you can touch this big carapace. This is Riley. Okay, Riley. She's 12 years old. Oh, how long do they live? 60 to 80 years, but I'm telling you, they can go. They can probably go past that 80 pretty easy. <laughs> Second largest species of tortoise in the world when she's full grown, 550 pounds. Oh my goodness. Wow. And I saw her, I saw her eating earlier. <laughs> she had a little tortoise chow here. Would you like to try some? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I think it's healthy. This animal right here is an incredible ambassador. And kids that come to the San Antonio Rodeo, if she's close enough to the edge, you can come out and touch Riley. Oh, Just get some sanitizer beautiful. afterwards. Well, yes, yes. And we will do the same. <laughs> now we're talking about native species, Jen. I love native animals. Well, my friend Ryan has a really cool native. Here, why don't you get right close to okay. Ryan here. This is an American alligator. I can touch. Oh, very carefully right there. You're, talk, you're, you're talking about, I'm just kidding, you're fine. He's an ambassador. This is Albert Jr., named after our 60-plus year veteran of the Abilene Zoo, Albert, who's on display if you come visit us. Look at these osteoderms, Jen. Oh, wow. Feel the side belly skins, my favorite. Oh, my goodness. This animal was almost eradicated, by the way in the 1970s, but thanks to the Endangered Species Act, its numbers have resurged, and you can find alligators all throughout the state of Florida, into eastern Texas, and here in south Texas, but sorry, my whole new hometown in Abilene, <laughs> we do not have alligators living right. naturally. And tell me, what was his name again? This is Albert, Albert Jr. Albert Jr. And when people come here, they can get up close like this too. Yeah, like our animal ambassador team, like Ryan, Madison, oh. Anna, Paige, Myself, we're going to be walking around with animals throughout the day, different times. Mm -hmm. We want you to touch and experience the animals and uh, get a better understanding. Animals that are scaly, but also animals that are cute and cuddly like this. Yes. Come on over cute here, Anna. Cuddly. <laughs> this right here is oh Ella. I, okay, I'm yeah, going to yeah, hold you, Yeah, you can hold it over there. I'll help you. Oh. Ella is a three-banded armadillo. See how she's shaking there? Oh, is she okay? Yeah, she she's got the smelling. Oh. Her nose is going a mile a minute, causing everything else to shake with her. These animals can sniff out bugs, insects, and they dig them up and eat them. Now, this is the only species of armadillo that can completely ball up, so they put their head and their tail together and look, oh. lock into place like that, a defense mechanism from jaguar or big uh, snakes and different things of that nature. This is a first for me, okay? I've never held an armadillo. <laughs> and what are some other fun facts about this This guy? animal right here, every head plate is like a fingerprint. So every head plate is different. So we can actually identify these animals by the head plate. And their closest relative, are you ready for this? Yes. Sloths and anteaters. Look at those front feet. No way, let me see, okay. Now here in Texas, we have the <laughs> nine-banded armadillo, but that's the only one we have in North America. In South America, three-banded, six-banded, 11-banded, uh, screaming, pink fairy, giant, yellow back. There's all <laughs> kinds of different armadillo species. Okay. But this is what the Abilene Zoo's all about, Jen. Getting yes. people up close to wildlife yes. like you can't do anywhere else. <laughs> we may be face. a look at that. We may be a small zoo in yes. Abilene, Texas. Yes. We hope that you come visit, especially with SA Live. All right, yes, that we're gonna book that one next on the <laughs> travel trip. I love how you have the map right yeah, here. Yeah, look at this. For Where people. are we? It's that was my question earlier. Right? How far away is that drive? It's a I'm quick drive up into Abilene. You can go through Junction, you can go through Fredericksburg. But one thing's for sure. You can come meet amazing animals like this. Oh, cutie. All right, guys, I'm going to toss it back to you. We're having a good time. And this, these are just a sample here of the animals because there's plenty others. One I couldn't find over here in the tank. We've got a Roadrunner. I think the fans in San Antonio love Roadrunners. Yeah. Oh, they sure do. Lots meet, of great meet. things. Clay, good to see you. Fiona, Mike, what do you oh, think? I made some friends Please tell Clay. It was He's good yeah. to see him even from here. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the great Fiona thing and Mike about say hi. Hi, guys, miss ya. when we took our boys when they were